Hey everybody, um, before we start today, I just want to get serious for a second. Uh, we're going to be playing Silent Hill 2, and Silent Hill 2 deals with um, some dark and mature themes uh, that we often don't see in video games, or at least not taken seriously. Uh, and I just want to let you know, so that you're, uh, you know what you're getting into, and you can make an informed decision whether you want to uh, stay and watch or not. Um, Many of the themes include uh, physical and mental abuse, sexual assault, depression, suicide, um, dealing with illnesses, and um, dealing with illnesses in family members, and how you cope with that during and after. Um, it also deals with death, uh, abandonment, body image uh, issues, um, mental illness, and how all the things that I've listed kind of like affect you and your mental well-being. Um, so I just want to let you know so that um, if it ever becomes too much or you just don't want to participate in uh, in the game that deals with this type of stuff, uh, don't feel ashamed. It's totally okay. Um, don't feel bad if you need to leave. I thank you for your support. And I hope uh, I get to see you again in chat or just lurking um, when we go move on to something else. Uh, anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out if you still do. Um, and let's get scared together. So here we go. Main scenario and then there's a sub scenario. I've never seen or like played this sub scenario. I have no idea. So we're going to play main scenario, which is a letter from Silent heaven interesting um so we're gonna do hmm we'll do action level normal riddle level hard i think that's like based what uh like i looked a little into it just out of curiosity and um that seemed to be the best balance for this game um hmm. Should we? Should we just do hard? Alright, fine, whatever. How hard could it be, right? <sighs> so excited to play this. One of my favorite games ever. It's a really gross bathroom. Mary, could you really be in this town? Okay. Go big or go home? Yeah. Hey, policy. Okay, we have tank controls. Yes, we do. Okay, so we chose the right one. All right. So the film grain is intentional. Hopefully that's not killing the stream. It doesn't. No, it doesn't look like it. Um, the film grain is intentional. I actually kept it. You could turn it off, but I kept it on. One, because it's originally how the game came out. And then um, two, because it actually, I think it adds to the atmosphere. I normally turn off film grain, but this is like one of the few games where I can excuse it. Looks like your bathroom. Hey, liquid. Ugh, you guys are gross. can't read what any of this says. Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to. The hands fashioned. Oh, okay. I can sidestep. Interesting. What do the buttons do? Triangle brings up a map. Okay, just like the first one. Oh, it doesn't do anything. Square squats. Okay. X. Oh, squares out. Actually, run. Okay, that's him preparing to run right here. This is his running stance. Gotcha. Uh, X is probably just interact. Sidestep, and the triggers aren't doing anything right now. Do we have a menu? We do. Oh boy. Okay. Photo of Mary. A photo from when she was still healthy. Fuck. You know what we forgot to do? I screwed up. I screwed up? I'm sorry, hold on. 
we're gonna take a pause. We're gonna pause this really quickly. Because normally what I like to do... Oh! Oh boy. Haley209, thanks for the follow. Be granted, for the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Thank you for those souls, Haley. Uh, 209. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, I did forget to do something, so... Two. I swear I'd, um... I wouldn't remember my head if it wasn't attached or whatever. What's that? What's that? Uh, what's that saying? Um, and this is what I normally normally have this stuff prepared before the stream, but of course I forgot. Will this work? Okay, this will kind of work. Okay, so it's not exactly the same thing, but we're gonna switch on over. Here we go. Hello. Hi. I'm going to go full screen. So I remember one of the my things that I loved doing as a kid was uh, on the way home when you got a new game is you would sit in the car and read the game manual because it's all you could do because you didn't have anything else to do back then. So while you're paused, you want to bring webcam up a smidge. It's blocking part of the subtitles. I do. I do. I do. Speaking of which, I need to trim this up. Okay. I need to bring it up a little bit. Hmm, okay. Let's try that. Hopefully that'll be a little better. I gotta do that on all of them though. Five seventy-five. Five seventy-five. I swear we'll get to the game. I swear. I swear. Okay. Or else do I have um see the problem is when you change this stuff you have to change it on all your different scenes because then you're switching scenes and all of a sudden you're like you're here and then all of a sudden you're down here and then you're there and it it looks bad I don't like it okay it's very touchy because we're talking about like changing pixels here okay sorry about that anyways uh here we go all right so let's go ahead and do this so can I do, can I do like single page? Oh yeah, oh this is good. All right, so this is the Xbox version, of course. Um, game, I'm here for you anyways. What was your favorite game manual? What was my favorite game manual? So I loved, I was always dis super disappointed when games came with like tiny nothing manuals. Um, my favorite manuals were always like the, um, um, like the Morrowind one was thick and I remember it came with like a map and stuff like that. Um, a lot of PC games came with like really thick manuals and like all those simulator games always I remember reading like um Simulators for like uh, what's it called? Like tank and jet simulators. I'd always read those game manuals because they're th like super big All right, so here we go. This is the Xbox version, but it is the restless dream edition, which is technically what the ps2 um, uh, Greatest hits edition is so it should be it should probably be the same so here we go, let's just go through it really quick. So you remember that thing, the big old fat Xbox and the big old Duke controller, this thing was great. Um, this is a little hard to read, I'm sure it's a little hard to read on your end too, so I'll just kinda, this is just basic stuff. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Prologue. Three years ago, James Sutherland's wife got seriously ill and passed away. James tried to pull himself together and resume his life after the loss, but struggled to get back on his feet. The emotional pain and emptiness left James in a constant state of mourning. Then one day, a cryptic letter arrives signed by Mary, the same name as his wife, as his late wife. In the letter, Mary writes, Silent Hill, our sanctuary of memories, I'll be waiting for you there. James is confused and disturbed by the letter. Uh, he questions if Mary is somehow really alive or if someone is playing a hoax on him. I still don't believe it. The dead can't send letters. Yet, I came here to see my Mary. Our sanctuary of memories. What does it mean? This place is too full of memories. Shrouded in mystery and driven by the desire to uncover truth, James set off into the world of Silent Hill. As the fog grows thicker, James realizes that the town is nearby. The only way to get to the center of town is through the tunnel, but there must have been an accident or something because the entrance is blocked. But wait, 
The map shows a single road through the forest that leads to the town. Looks like the only way to get to the town is to take the road on foot. I can't see anyone in this thick fog, or I should say I don't feel anyone. I see a rundown building nearby. There is no one inside. I am alone in, uh, in the mirror's reflection. I look at the man in the mirror and mutter a question. Mary, could you really be in this town? And that's how we start. So that's why we're in this toilet <laughs> or this bathroom. Starting the game, we have a new game. Um, action level hard. Monsters are very strong and fast. So that's what we chose. So hopefully it's not too hard. Um, I do want to, I do think horror games kind of lose some of their oomph when you're constantly dying. But I do think having that challenge there also amplifies the horror. So it's kind of like, it's a weird, crazy balance. Hopefully it's not too bad. We also did riddle level hard. Riddles are complex. This is probably where we're going to be stuck the most because I'm an idiot. If you saw my Silent Hill playthrough, you would know that. Uh, regardless of the difficulty level selected, the game scenarios and endings will be the same. There is no riddle difficulty level in the additional game. Oh, right, the other game. All right. Playing the game. Okay, so objective. James has returned to Silent Hill to uncover the truth about his late wife, Mary. Um, as James ventured deeper into town, he must successfully overcome the challenges that await him. In some situations, defeating, avoiding monsters, and solving puzzles will be necessary. If James can persevere the obstacles, information regarding the origins of the mysterious letter might be revealed and possibly even darker secrets. How to use the map. If James has a map in his possession, press the Y button. In our case, it'll be triangle. Use the A button to zoom in and out. When the map is zoomed in, use the directional pad. Okay. Consists of multiple floors plus up and down. Okay. Field. During the game, control James using the directional pad or left thumbstick. So this is a tank game, so I'm going to be using the D-pad. Because playing uh, tank control games with a joystick is madness. If you do that, you're sick. You're a sick person. When James is near objects or items, press the A button to search the immediate area. Important information or useful items may be discovered. Alright. Game over. The upper left corner of the uh, item screen, accessible. Man, the contrast on this stuff, like, it's, it doesn't help that this is a, um, like a digital, oh. Is there, like, a zoom in? There's a zoom in. Oh, right. Like, I guess it'd probably be easier if you use the, go, like, have it in hand and you can, like, kind of look closer. But, man, some of this. Whoever designed this, like, it's cool. I love the look. It's just not designed very well. Um... Actual artwork, too bad manuals don't do that no more. Yeah, I know. That's one of the greatest losses. But also, you know, probably better for the environment, so it makes sense. Um, I think digital manuals like this are actually a really neat idea that I think games could continue with that tradition. That I don't really see a lot of people take advantage of, but it could be cool. Also, there's a lot of cool things you could do with, like, a digital manual. Like, have hidden stuff and stuff like that, but that's here now. Um, I haven't seen a manual in so long since I've gone all digital. It's a bit sad. Yeah, I, I sometimes uh, I'll open stuff up. What do I got? Here's my Silent Hill 2. See, I got the original Silent Hill 2 uh, manual in here. Uh, I don't know how much different it would be. It looks... It actually, yeah, it looks pretty much the same. Here. Okay, maybe... Uh, yeah. So there you go. It doesn't look like they changed much. This is the same page that we're on right now. Doesn't seem like they changed much. Um, but yeah, they're fun to go through. I, it was. It's one of those things where it's like children nowadays probably don't understand that, and that's fine. But it's like it's something that was like instrumental for me as a child, um, or like a big part of my life. Anyways. Um, Game over the upper left corner of the item screen. Accessible price in the back button will show James' current health status inside the status box. The current health status of James is determined by color, which gradually turns red as health decreases. If the vibration function is enabled, the controller will begin to shake more violently as James receives more damage. This is an effective dual for, uh, tool for engaging current health status during normal gameplay. James will die when his health is completely depleted. Use items such as first aid kit and energy drinks to replenish James' life gauge. More information on items, see page 16. Saving progress. Uh, a save game can be saved, or a game can be saved at any time one of the various save points scattered throughout Silent Hill. The save points are easily identified as mysterious red objects. Oh, okay, see. 
they had these in the first game, Silent Hill. I always thought they were just a journal, but if, I guess they're just mysterious red objects. When uh, James is facing a save point, press the A button to access the save screen. Game progress can be saved any number of times. Okay. Oh. Silent Hill 2 Restless Dreams uses at least 13 blocks of memory card data to save the game. You remember that? Like Xbox, the original Xbox didn't have like kilobytes or megabytes. It was like, like these, uh, like, uh, blocks, like this unknowable block, which is really fun. I never, I was never, never able to fill that thing up either. I tried so hard. I put so much music on my Xbox. All right, let's go through this. Characters. James Sutherland, age unknown, occupation protagonist. So first of all, he doesn't know how old he is. That's weird. And his occupation is to be a protagonist. His job is to be the good guy in a story. That's amazing. Three years ago, his beloved wife, Mary, became suddenly or seriously ill and passed away. James has wasted away in empty, lifeless days of mourning. Tell me about it. When a strange letter arrived, the name of the sender was Mary Shepherd Sutherland. Mary Shepherd Sutherland. Sunderland. Hmm. His late wife. The cryptic letter beckoned him to meet her in Silent Hill, a town that once held a great meaning for the couple. Although he firmly believes his wife is not alive, James questions the origins of the letter and is determined to find the truth by returning to Silent Hill. Look at these background. Like, look at that. That's so good. I love it. I love That must be Mary right there. Occupation is side character. Aw. My, yeah, my occupation is like uh, NPC in the background that you have no interaction with. That's top tier writing right there. Hey, hey. You talk shit about this game? You t no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, uh, the writing, actually, the writing is really good in this game. Um, the voice acting is questionable, but it's one of those things in this game where it fits. Oh, where it fits the, um, fits what they're going for. So it's, uh, I don't know. The writing's pretty good, but it's also like the whole thing is supposed to be a little odd. It's it's supposed to be a little um like tilted off kilter or whatever, you know what I mean? But we'll get into it. Alright, who do we got here? We have Maria. Maria. Age unknown, occupation unknown. They, they just don't know anything. On the surface, why do they even like why do they why even add it? <laughs> On the surface, Maria looks exactly like James' late wife. However, Maria's hairstyle and taste and clothing are completely different. Her personality, cheerful and energetic, is also the exact opposite of Mary's. When James first meets Maria, he is shocked by the resemblance as well as the intimacy in their conversations, as if they had known each other for years. After learning of his purpose in Silent Hill, Maria is interested in his search for Mary and decides to accompany him. Hmm. Interesting. Then we have Angela or Os Orozco. Uh, age unknown, occupation unknown. James first meets her in a cemetery. And from the beginning, there is something shadowy about her. Shadowy. Ever since childhood, she is convinced that she would never be happy. She ran away from home shortly after graduating from high school, but her father found her and dragged her back home. She ran away from home again, this time to Silent Hill, but now she is lost. Interesting. I was looking into like uh, weird facts about this game. Um, these characters are all like based off people. Um, Maria is actually based off of... Uh, what's her name? I think it's... Not Mariah Carey, I forgot, like some famous singer, but she's like, uh, her, her visuals is, uh, like the way she looks, she's based off a very, uh, famous, like, pop star. Angela is based off, um, uh, Angela Bassett, uh, and that's an actress, I think she does, like, horror stuff and stuff like that. Um, here we go, Laura, that's Laura right there. Unknown. An occupation unknown. A stubborn, bratty little girl who does whatever she wants and suddenly goes on her way. She crosses James' path throughout his search and seems to know more about Mary than what she reveals. Coincidentally, she was a patient in the same hospital as Mary, and they became very close. Mary loved her as her own daughter. Perhaps she holds the truth that James is seeking. Okay, and then we got Eddie Dombrowski. Age unknown, occupation unknown. Like, why even have it? Why even have it? Eddie is a simple-minded, clumsy, and useless man who is deeply terrified of getting hurt. He has a gentle, quiet personality, but also possesses another side that he cannot control when angered. What is his purpose in Silent Hill? Damn. That's scathing. Simple-minded, clumsy, and useless man. Useless man. Damn. Alright, so we have uh, items. We have the wooden plank, a large wooden stick. 
with a few nails on the tip the lengths between 32 and 40 inches the wood is thick enough to hold in one hand and swing easily the style of this wooden plank is very similar to wood using construction sites handgun ordinary handgun that loads ammunition from magazines use a handgun for long distance attacks by being resourceful with the ammunition let the monsters get closer to maximize the damage of each shot and we got handgun bullets first aid kit health drink mary's letter the letter from mary inside a plain white envelope the back of the envelope says mary radio it may be broken or just not receiving any broadcasts all you hear is white noise however for some reason it becomes louder when there are monsters nearby a very important item flashlight can be used to light up dark areas can be turned on and off an essential item for fighting and searching however it will alert monsters of your position no james can discover additional weapons and items that are hidden okay so then this just goes into like basic stuff oh and then hints Ooh. okay we don't want hints we don't want hints so we're gonna we're gonna skip through that part um okay and then right here some fear death silent hill 2 restless dreams others pray for it Ooh. and we have warranty customer support which probably doesn't work look at this konami game hint pretty much one dollar per minute charged and then one one dollar and 25 seconds or 25 cents per minute support from a game counselor huh really interesting okay there we go we did it now we're gonna go right on back there we go all right here's a hint don't take damage yeah exactly <laughs> all right here we go we're gonna start off are we good we're good all right photo of mary a photo from when she was still healthy Ooh. oh geez there we go Let's see. Use. It looks like I can't use that here. Examine. Oh, okay. That actually looks good. It looks like, um... Looks like, uh... Pretty much where we are right now. Scrooge McDuck here in his mountain of gold. All phone calls will be on me tonight. Oh, really? Thanks, man. Uh... <laughs> man, we should... Uh, I closed it already, didn't I? I wonder what would happen if we called that number. Should we try it? Should we try calling that number? I wonder. I bet some hot, some sex hotline brought up those numbers. Maybe we could try it. What's the worst that will happen, right? I mean, I got a dollar. I can I can afford a dollar. For science. Alright, All right, one, nine hundred, eight, nine, six, four, four, six, eight, which is hint. That's pretty good. I hope this comes through. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please hang up and redial nope. the number, including the no good. announcement. Bye. Is there any other number on here? Technical support. We could try to call on that. 650 654-5687. Why did it why did it ring for so long then <laughs> all right well it was worth trying all right, all right. the fear my favorite sex hotline hey man that's how they get you that's how they get you because you can't have you can't be sex positive in america so that's what the fbi focuses on all right uh, let me just close this. We don't need that up anymore. All right. Good effort. Yeah, you yeah, know, we tried. That's all we can ask. All right, so... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, letter from Mary. That's definitely Mary's name on her own, oh, sorry. That's definitely Mary's name in her own handwriting on the front of this envelope. Can't use that here. Oh. In my restless dreams, I see that town, Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday, but you never did. Well, I'm alone there now, in our special place, waiting for you. Okay. So we have an inventory. Uh-huh. All right. Look at that, mirror. Amazing, I always love it when games do mirrors properly. Restless dreams. I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. Waiting for you. got a letter. The name on the envelope said, Mary. My wife's name. It's ridiculous. Couldn't possibly be true. That's what I keep telling myself. A dead person can't write a letter. Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. So then, why am I looking for her? Our special place. What could she mean? This whole town was our special place. Does she mean the park on the lake? We spent the whole day there. Just the two of us, staring at the water. Could Mary really be there? Is she really alive? Waiting for me? Hmm. Oh, yeah, I love this. I love, I love this. Of the cutscenes, all the voice work, I love the music. Oh, there's a fog rolling in. Look at that. Huh. Go figure. Oh. Um. Soundtrack sounds like something out of Life is Strange. Love the soundtrack. Yeah, me too. I love the soundtrack so much. Um. The sound out of Life is Strange, some of it, it, it definitely gets a little crazier later on. But yeah, there's definitely like that theme right there that, that's very, um, you know, it's going for a vibe. Isn't there a fog always, isn't there always a fog rolling in there? Um, you know, eh, yes, but also maybe not. Silent Hill, it's weird. It is what it is, right? Let's see. I got a map of Silent Hill. Sorry, I didn't know I had to click a button. I thought I'd do something. <laughs> Nothing else? No. Man, those are some dirty seats, though. It's a nice car. Nothing else worth taking. Okay. I think we're good now. Um, you guys let me know. I'm still kind of figuring out, like, my uh, camera placement. You know, I don't have a green screen yet, so it's kind of... It is kind of what it is. I don't know. Should I move over more to the side so you know you can see more of this, or is this fine? Like, let me know. Uh, I'm open to suggestions. But yeah, let's get started. This is it. Um, first thing you always do in Silent Hill games, you go the wrong way. 
Oh, okay. This is the road I came in on. There's no point going back. Fair enough. Oh. It's our man, James, right there. He's got a... It kind of looks like a military, like, military-ish, kind of like... Salvation Army or like military surplus stores kind of stuff, but I don't know. I think it's just supposed to be a regular jacket. Oh, okay, hold on. Let's check the trunk. Nothing. Check the other doors. Oh, there's nothing in the passenger seat. Okay, fair enough. Can we get a. Uh, see what the local newspaper has to say? No. Hmm. So I am running this on a PS2 emulator. Hopefully, I'm pretty sure I worked out all the kinks. Hopefully I did. So if you see any like weird flickering stuff or something like that, I apologize. So this game's uh, notoriously like kind of weird with emulation. They've gotten it mostly there, I think. Um, can't go any further by car. I guess I'll have to walk. We come. Really? Okay, Silent Hill. We come. Alright, what do we got? We got Pale Va Vile, or Paleville, Paleville National Park, Paleville Old Silent Hill, and Brams. Interesting. <clears throat> Toluca Lake. So, uh, I have beaten this game, or I have played this game, beaten it before, but I have not played it since, and I beat it. It was over a decade ago at this point, so I will be taking it slower as a first playthrough kind of way I would be because um, I really don't remember enough like moment to moment that I kind of have to uh, and we're also playing on hard so I want to make sure I don't miss anything because I'm probably going to need everything look at that that's a thick fog holy shit that is not a good noise. Let's do something real quick here. I think we could probably turn it up a little bit. At least the background music. There we go. Let's try that. Oop. Just trying to keep it from redlining too much. Oh, okay. Oh, it's that mysterious red thing. I think this is where I saved. There's something in the well. What is that? Looks like... Looking at this makes me feel like someone's groping around inside my skull. It gives me a weird feeling. Yep, that's how we save, right? This is actually, if my memory serves me correctly, if you do New Game Plus, anything that you unlock, you, um... This is where, uh, this is where it would be. So when you start the game over, it would be right here. So that's a cool thing. Ah, oh, that music. This game, these games are such like masterclass and just like oppressive, like, like just the f music feels like it's just pushing down on you and suffocating you in some ways. Oh, oh, good. Oh, hello. Excuse me, I... <gasps> oh, I, I'm sorry. I... I, I no, was it's just... okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. Is this Angela? Lost? Yeah. I'm looking for Silent Hill. 
Is this the right way? Um, yeah. It's hard to see with this fog, but there's only the one road. You can't miss it. Thanks. But... Yes? I think you'd better stay away. This, uh... Th this town... There's something wrong with it. It's kind of hard to explain, but... Is it dangerous? Maybe. And it's not just the fog, either. Okay, it's... I got it. I'll be careful. I'm not lying! No, I believe you. It's just... I guess I really don't care if it's dangerous or not. I'm going to town either way. But why? I'm looking for someone. Who, who, who is it? Someone very important to me. I'd do anything if I could be with her again. Me too. I'm looking for my mama. I, I mean my mother. It's been so long since I've seen her. I thought my father and brother were here, but I can't find them either. I'm sorry. It's not no, your problem. I, I hope you find them. Yeah, you too. Hmm. Okay. So. I just got some sh or I guess she didn't tell her her name, but I think that's Angela. She got some shit going on. Was looking for her mother, her brother, and her dad. What is it? Oh, nothing. Sure is quiet here, huh? I guess. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Chat one more time. Aren't you looking for someone? That's right. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> Ew. I shut her down. Yeah. He's like, all right, cool, thanks. What is it? Oh. Okay. Nothing. I was just curious sure how, how long that would go. I guess. <laughs> I do like that though, that I guess. Alright, let's keep going. So, you know what I don't like in games where they make every one of these things readable, and so it's just like some dumbass goofs or like developers or something. And good, this game doesn't do that. I still feel like compelled to read them, even though I hate them. Or hate them? I, I don't hate them. I just this. I just don't like them. Okay, so I guess not here. Ran into that a little too fast. Hmm. This must be her car. Something over there. It's like a Winnebago. Silent Hill Ranch. Ooh. Think ranch is the best flavor on a Silent Hill? I'm more of a blue cheese guy myself. So can I, oh, okay, there's like a look around thing. Okay, huh. Yep, sweet. Nope, can't go that way. It's 
some crazy fog. You ever been in fog like this? I have. It's, it's always really creepy. I hate driving in fog. There's something crawling around over here. Keep out trespassers or trespassers will be prosecuted. It's like something stalking me, I think. Ugh. Can't tell what that is. Outside world seems more quiet when fog is out. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely creepy and quiet. noises Sounds like monkeys? Huh. Maybe like children or something, I don't know, it's weird. So I love this road that's like got guardrails sometimes. <laughs> like, e. It's a very thin road too. The road runner. have a map right oh geez oh yeah we made some good progress all right where are we at we're in front of a flower shop all right if we go left that's a dead end so we should check that out first all right there's supposed to be a way to zoom in and out right there it is okay now he's got rosewater park underlined i guess that's where he th that's where the special place is oh shit So do we have the whole map? Oh, okay. Interesting. Alright. Sweet. Alright, let's go check this way first. So you always want to go the wrong way. So, fun fact, this game is supposed to be set Somewhere's in the late 70s or somewhere's in the 90s or sorry 80s. Oh, first aid kit, sweet. Um, to give you an idea, apparently they retconned that in a later game and make it set in the 90s. But as of like the time of this game releasing, this is supposed to be like somewhere's late 70s or in the 80s. like some weird squeaky noises going on. No? Okay. I remember this game freaked me out on that like initial run in when I first played it. Because of all the weird noises and stuff. I never played a game like this before at the time. Was so good. Oh, hmm. 
Are these marks blood? Uh, <laughs> okay. So let's go that way. That shadow just now. <laughs> All right, let's, let's follow the blood, I guess. Some more blood. Texan. Oh, he's looking this way. Look at that. Interesting. Yeah, there's something. Oh, it's a save point. It's one of those games where the guy, like, looks. Yeah, like, see, there's something on the ground there, and he looks towards it. That's nice. I always like that. That's always a nice touch. I got a health drink. Another health drink, okay, good. I'm gonna need those. All right, let's keep going. It's exciting. I don't have a weapon yet, which is really fun. Also, yeah, the, those noises are always super loud. I hate that so much. That's, uh, there we go. Wait, I don't have a radio. Oh, it must be in there. Uh, James. James. Nice butt. Oh shit! Ah! Okay, I got it. Come on. Oh god. Hit it! There we go. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, that's goofy. Is it dead? What the hell is it? It's, it's like tapping his it's butt. Not human. But that ass, though. Huh. Oh, yeah. This thing broken? What the? I better take it anyway. I might need it. Okay. Well then. Small portable radio emits static when monsters are nearby. Power switch. Oh, you can turn it off. That's fun. Adjust volume. Oh, okay.
what I find right there. Wooden plank. Wooden plank with nails on one end. Not very powerful, but easy to use. First aid kit. Restores energy by healing wounds. Effects are moderate. Health drink. Restores energy by providing nourishment. Effects are fairly mild. Okay. Hmm. I can't tell if my status... I, mm, I can't tell if I'm hurt or not. Oh, look, I'm leaving footprint, bloody footprints behind. That's nice. It's a nice touch. All right, let's get out of here. Might as well save. All right here. suggest we go left and start filling out this map a little bit a lot it's a big map but it looks like it but a lot of that's gonna be probably blocked off so should be all right oh already all right hopefully I, I don't remember but I I hope there's no flying oh oh boy okay so rule number one of these games avoid combat if possible so let's get out of here I feel like, yeah, okay. The fun part's always seeing like what you can remember, like um, what's similar to like the previous games. Like these houses right here are very similar to the um, to the houses from the first game, but there there are no mailboxes. They they all had mailboxes in front of them, so that's a fun little change. This is why we do this. I'll take that. So let's see if we can uh, order some DoorDash. Oh. oh. All right. I don't know what that is, but if we don't if we don't look at it, it can't see us, right? If we can't see it, it can't see us. Okay, cool. Let's go the other way. This way. This looks like a place. Oh. Burger. Ah, let me in. Oh, shit. I like uh, two number twos, please. A number three, large, with an extra diet coke. Okay. Whew. Where are we at right now? Happy Burger. Isn't that the name of a show? Welcome, oh no, Good Burger. Welcome to Good Burger. Home of the Good Burger. May I take your order? Something's chasing me. Oh god, I can't see shit. memo laying on the sofa. I'll wait at Bar Neely's. I 
I copied it into my own map. Oh wait up bar I love how it's like bar Neely's, but then the map is clearly Neely's bar. I wonder if that's like a translation thing. Alright, let's check that out, see what that's about. I totally just like ran some random person's like house, mobile house, going through their mail. I think we're really close to that, aren't we? Isn't that like right across the road? Oh, okay, it's back a little bit. Alright, we'll check that out in a second. Let's see. Oh, okay. It's locked. Alright, fun game to play. Uh, take a shot anytime the game says a door is locked, jammed, or you can't open it. Just one shot every time. These guys are like spitting shit at me. I don't like it. All right, bar straight ahead. Chiropractics and sports injury center. Man, the the extra fidelity going from PS1 to PS2 is so nice. Silent Hill fresh meats. <laughs> Okay, I think we're close to the bar. Yeah. Is this it right here? Yep. Oh, can't see shit. Oh, there's a map. There's a map here. Oh. Huh. Okay, that's convenient. <laughs> Just do all the work for you then. There's a question mark up there in Martin Street. Martin Street? I think that's Martin Street. Okay. I hope he copies all this down. It'll save us some. Hmm. What's that symbol at the end of Martin Street? It's a question mark, James. It's a question mark. Alright. We'll go check that out. I copied it into my own map. There was a hole here. It's gone now. There's there's something about that that always creeped me out. I don't know why. There's just something like Oh. Um. I don't know. There was a hole here. It's gone now. Like the idea that they're like something's out of place is kind of like the idea, right? Like there was, there's supposed to be a hole here. It's gone now. We don't know why. There's no explanation. There's no explanation for why the hole was there. But it's just there's supposed to be a hole here, and it's gone now. I don't know. It's like a like a weird thing that's always stuck with me that I really enjoyed. His occupation is being a protagonist, a <laughs> rocket scientist. You're right. Because only rocket scientists know what um, question marks are. Just like me, I'm right now off shift right now. Normally I'm up in space or like working on nukes or something. That's me. Speed, oh boy, oh boy, nope, nope. I was just trying to read the sign. All right, what are we looking at here? Oh, okay, we gotta go down Martin Street right here. All right, let's go check it out. It's either like a wheelchair wheel or a dog whip whimpering, I can't tell. Oh God. Are there dogs in this game? I don't remember. Nope. <laughs> Fuck off. The 
And this brings us back to that road that we were on, right? Oh no, the one that we didn't go down. Oh no, we did go down this way, okay. Let's check to the left. I think the left here is a dead end. Ugh. Nothing about this sucks. There's so many of them. Wait, is that a... Yep. Well... Oh. Okay. Well, now we know. Oh, God. Ugh. I wonder if there'll be a doghouse here like there wasn't in the other one. There's like a key or something. In it. Yeah, anytime we get to this door, we hear that like whimpering dog or like spinning wheel. Mm. All right, let's check this out and then we'll go down Cat Street after. What's he looking at? Oh, I see. scared me a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. What's going on here? Oh, God. I got the apartment gate key. No comment, though. No comment on this looks like brutal murder. Apartment gate key. Old looking key that I found in town. Wood. Something apartment. I can't tell what that says. Oh. Okay. Well, nope. I don't want that. That thing's moving weird and way too fast. I don't like it. We're just gonna... Oh, are you serious? You fucking... Get, get. Stupid cockroach. Um. What is this? Huh. Newspaper from shop window. Weird. It looked like I could select those, but it wasn't really letting me. So there's Cat Street, so let's go. Oh, not today, Satan. Italian restaurant. Mmm. Closed. Everything's closed. Alright, how are we looking? Alright, so... Alright, we can't go to the right. I don't think we checked that out though, right? Let's see if there's any items up there really quick. Let's just check really quick. Cafe mist. Or cafe mist. Oh! Oh, did I go the wrong way? I didn't go the wrong way, didn't I? Shit, I somehow turned around. Ugh. Doesn't sound bad. Luckily, you can avoid them pretty easily, at least out here. Hmm. 
baby's closet. Oh god. Uh, nope. These things are weird. I don't like them. I guess the map wasn't lying. No items, though. That's not good. Just kind of hoping I could get some more uh, health items or something out here. Looks like it ain't happening. Oh, there's something. Speak of the devil. Nope, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Thank you. He keeps looking over. Oh, oh, there we go. Man, I did not see that. Oh, shit. Let's keep going. I could barely, I like, I could not see those handgun. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Ow. 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 Run. James, I'm going to need you to do better. You're a fit young man of unknown age. And you just start acting like it. Start dodging this. Uh. The door that wakes in darkness opening into nightmare. Huh. <laughs> it's locked! I w oh, oh, hold on. Oh boy, oh boy. This is the apartment gate key. Alright, go! Jesus. <laughs> nah, nah. You can't use the doors. Their greatest weakness. That's why they can never leave Silent Hill, because every exit of Silent Hill, there's a door. And they don't know how to use it. Alright, is this the way in? Yeah. I want to just look at everything before we go in there because that looks pretty bad. Also, why do I not have a flashlight? Oh, this is good. Garbage. No use for that. That's why it's garbage. So this is an apartment building. So if you're taking shots, get ready because most of these doors are going to be locked. Okay. Okay. First floor. Look at the map of the apartment building. Got a health drink. Mm. Oh, is this a save? Man, that's tough to see. That is tough to see. Apartment building southwest staircase. This is like a high standard of living. Yeah, there's nothing like. Silent Hill used to be a resort town. Like, I don't know if you remember that from the first one, but, um, it's locked. So there you go, take a shot. Used to be a resort town, and then, um, people stopped coming. I forgot why. Like, just people stopped coming, I guess, and it kind of died away. Let's go this way. Oh. The hell is that? There's a, there's a trash chute. There's some kind of strange garbage stuck in the hole. 
I guess I can't just push it. Nope. Oh boy. Okay, looks like I can't open it from the side. Ugh. I think I'm supposed to have a flashlight. Yeah, I can't see shit. Oh, there it is. I got a flashlight right in the building. <laughs> What the fuck are you? Nope. Nope. I don't need to do this. I don't need to participate in this. Okay. Yes, I do. How do I How do I fight again? Right. Oh, you're just all legs, aren't you? Oops, all legs. Oh, this is a nice creepy room though. There are arms and legs scattered all over the sofa. Oh. Luckily they came from a mannequin. <laughs> Sewing machine, there's nothing special about it. it looks like the lock is broken, I can't open it. Just a mannequin, but these clothes, they're familiar. Nothing that looks to be of use. Oh, is this a light switch? Doesn't work. Okay, so the O button turns your flashlight on and off. Gotcha. Can't get the door open. All right, here we go. Back to the hell, hell corridor. Oh boy. Oh, you fucking dick. Oh, come on. Hit it. There's something else. Oh, stupid cockroach. You fucking dick. doing bad okay let's use a health potion I'm still doing very bad I think I'm like one or two hits away uh, are you kidding me hit it oh my god Oh, they look like they're dead. I don't like that. Where's the other one? You fucker. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh god. I don't know where I went. Oh, there it is. No, James, you suck. Oh my god, please just hit it. Please just hit it. Oh my 
Yo, you gotta be kidding me with this. <gasps> oh my shit, what the fuck? Oh, this is just bad. All of this is bad. Get over here, you little fucker. Yeah, you got him. And I think this one actually clipped through the wall. Okay, well, it's clipped through the wall, so... There's a newspaper on the ground. There's nothing interesting written on it. Handgun bullets, all right. Can I get a handgun, maybe? Oh, there you are. Ow. Playing this game on hard is a little maybe a mistake. You're kidding me. Are you kidding me? That is absurd. Maybe I should have listened to Reddit for once and actually like, it was pretty much like, hey, maybe playing this game on hard the first time through, not the best way to play it. Because, um, there's nothing to be, nothing to do here, okay. I and mean, you could take a shit if you really wanted to. All right, my controller's vibrating crazy. Yep. Because uh, I guess harder difficulties, not only are the enemies way tougher and they do more damage, but they also spawn more of them and they're more aggressive. So yeah, that's like, that was what, one, two, three, four enemies in this tiny room? Shh. All right. Excuse me. All right, I think we're good. I think that was it. it didn't really seem worth it. Do we even get anything? Oh, we got handgun bullets, right? All right, what are we looking at here? So we came from there. Um, hmm. Oh, we should have gone the... Well, no, there's a monster there. That's why I didn't go that way. Hmm. So we'll go up. We got, we're going to run into a dead end here. What are those blue markers? It's supposed to be doors, right? Doors you can open? This is supposed to be blue right here. Uh, I guess it's just, okay. Yeah, I see. Anything in here? No. Okay, okay. Oh, we didn't check this. Is this anything? No, okay. 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 Uh, well, you know what I will do? I'm gonna go to that radio. I'm gonna adjust that volume. Just there we go. I think that's good. That's just loud as fuck. All right, let's keep going. So we go out. Go to the left. Go. To, uh, okay. Perfect. Hello. Excuse me. Okay. Box broken. Oh, man. 
Okay, so we checked all of these. So now we can go down, go back around. We never checked 204, we ran right past it. We gotta check 204. Excuse me. Now, ow. Oh, excuse me. Is this 204? Nope, 205. Is this 204? Oh, yeah. Weird. It's like, uh, they, uh, not paved, but they, like, s closed it up. All right, we're going to go, and I see there's stairs up here, so we're going to go check 201, 202. Let's see, can we go up further? key on the ground on the other side of the bars. If I stretch my arm out, I just might be able to reach it. Will you pick it up? <laughs> that seems like bait, but okay. Uh-huh. Come on, stretch it, stretch it. Ew. Ow! You bitch! Uh -huh. Hey, wait! Damn it. That's a forum troll right there. What a bitch. I can't reach him no matter how far I stretch. But who's that kid? <sighs> Little bitch, yeah. <laughs> that was fucked up. That's a fucked up thing to do. All right, so that's a dead end. Okay, so those stairs will bring us to this side. Got it. All right, might as well check these two before we go down. That was rude. Whose kid is that? Lock's broken. Broom closet. So here's my problem is any like you click X to read this stuff but if you click any other button like say I don't know left on the d-pad to turn because you're gonna be turning like it like skips through the dialogue which is weird I don't is that an option can I switch that because I, I don't like that also I'm about to die no there's nothing for that that's annoying Might as well use this. Alright. So, the wall is parked marked with gunshots. Oh, jeez. Oh, gunshots. Hold on. <gasps> it's a shotgun cart. What's that doing here? Who cares? Can you... Right. James, please. Holy shit, James. Pick, pick up the gun. Pick up the gun, James. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. I got a handgun. <laughs> handgun full clip holds 10 bullets light handgun not much stopping power but easy to use all right so we have 40 bullets all together i'm not gonna equip this quite yet seems like most of the stuff i can kind of run around for now looks like the lock is broken i can't open it but it's good to finally have a gun 
Holy shit. Okay, I think that's it. Hey, yep. Yep. The wall is pockmarked with gunshots. Gun bullets. Yep. Okay. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, so now we can check what's to the left. Because there's a door there. Also, now there's enemies up here. Great. All of a sudden. Nope, 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 nope. Oh. Man, this place sounds awful. What? Upsetting noises. <laughs> just smacked into that wall. Okay. So I think we gotta go down this way and then go down. Oh no, we need to still check all these doors right here. These two doors. Supposed to be right here. It's locked. And right here. Ow. Locked. Okay. I think that's all of them then. Yep. So see that one's squiggly because it's broke, but that one's just locked. So I wonder if maybe 202 will be coming back to. So yeah, here's I think this is the other door, right? Was that some kind of noise north of here? Okay, this I guess this is north. Can't open it. It sounded like a baby screaming, and it, I hate babies. I don't want to deal with babies. Please don't make me deal with babies. Raise your hand if you know who that is. That is him, yep. That's the man. The legend. I think that means we're going to be dealing with him soon. There's uh, some interesting theories about him. That I won't get into right now, but... um, Let's keep moving. And no, it must be from the person who lived here. Three needle, oh, here we go. Three needle stand of three different heights. The fat, the tall, and the thin. From slow to fast, they move to the right. Scott rests not on three, but 15. Three needles, three different heights. Fat, the tall, the thin. From slow to fast, they move to the right. From slow to fast. Oh, Scott rests not on three, but fifteen. Interesting. Oh. Huh. Okay, we'll we'll get to that in a second. Oh, the music though. Locked. Oh. Oh, is this it? This must be it. Yep. The fat, the tall, and the skinny. The clock has stopped at 10, 25, and 15 seconds. The faceplate is closed. It is locked. I can't touch the needles of the clock like this. Oh, 
Oh, that like, mm, that's so good. What's this? Henry Mildred Scott. Okay. Okay, so Scott doesn't rest on three. He rests on 15. So that means Scott is the, um, like the, the second, the second, uh, arm, which is the, the thin one. Okay. Interesting. So we know Scott, the, the thin one needs to be on 15. Okay. I think I already figured this one out. The other two we could just figure out. Henry Mildred Scott. Yep. Can you get into the theories of that? Yeah, absolutely. We'll um, we'll probably not get to the end today, but yeah, I'll definitely like look up some more stuff and just kind of see what I can remember. There's definitely this game has a lot of really cool stuff. Oh, Room 202. Really interesting things going on. Um, like this right here. There's a newspaper here. It looks very old. This right here is its own very interesting thing that I won't say. But let's uh, let's see what this is about. He's dead. Who could have done this? All right. So I'm gonna take a screenshot. Every time I take a screenshot, this stupid thing pops up. I need to fix that. But okay, anyways. All right, so we have room 202, the key to 202. So we should go check that out next. Man, that like, ah. Uh, like, this isn't music that I want to sit down and listen to, but, like, for atmosphere and what it's doing, it, is, it works so well. It's so good. Okay. All right, we just got to take a left and then take a right. Let's take a left. Oh. Our little... Our guest isn't here anymore. A little visitor. All right, and then take our right. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, good, 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 good. Ooh. Oh boy. Oh my god. I think that said I used the key to 202. The door's broken, I can't open it. See, this is all like very. Oh. Huh. It's like moths. Are, are they on me now? Oh, they're on me. Oh, they're following my uh, my light, I think. Or maybe they're just on me. Um, it's starting to get to look like uh, the other world. Silent Hill stuff right here. There's nothing inside the cages. Huh. Okay. Oh, is this a safe spot? Finally? Body of a dead butterfly is on the ground. There's nothing else of interest here. It's too dark to tell for sure, but I think there's something on the other side of the hole. Will you investigate? Honest question. How many of you would stick your hand into a... Um, unknown 
hole in an area that is creepy and you have no idea what's going on. Guarantee you I will not be putting my hand in into any holes that I don't know the origin of. But this is a video game and the answer is always yes, we will investigate. I wouldn't be putting my hand in, but something really. If anything, my hand would be what I put in there. Because I'd be more willing to lose my hand than anything else. It'd be my left hand too, because I'm a righty. Oh, I got the clock key. Okay, great. I'm, I'm glad that was in there. It looks like there's like, oh, oh. There's nothing in the hole anymore. Interesting. Looks like there's some sort of like green ooze coming out of it. Also, that noise is not a good noise. And that green ooze is like everywhere. Guess you're not looking for a good time? You're right, I'm not. If I'm in Silent Hill, the last thing I'm looking for is a good time. Okay, I think that's it then, right? We did everything else, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have these moths following us, which I'm not happy about, but... Let's get back in. So we're gonna go out, we're gonna go to the left, and then we're gonna take another left, and then it'll be all the way down at the end. Oh, you, what a dick spawn. Shit. Go, 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 go. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Don't die. I think it's been a while since we saved, hasn't it? I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Ugh. Yeah, let's do this puzzle in this room with this dead dude watching TV. At least turn the TV off, man. Turn down the creep factor. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. Clock. Uh, clock key. There's a hole, a small clock at the end of the key. It was in the hole in the wall in room 202. Okay. Those nurses are cute. Ugh. We haven't even seen the nurses yet, eh? I don't think so. We're going to use this because I am on the brink of dying and I don't think we've saved in a while. This is going to get really crazy. I don't, I honestly, like, people online were saying this game is, like, super hard on hard. Which is why I, I was, like, I wasn't sure if I was going to do it. So, this run might get a little sketchy later on. Hopefully, we find more stuff. <laughs> okay. Um,. We're going to take a quick break, like a two minute break. I got to go pee and rather than I don't want to be doing this puzzle on a full bladder. So we'll be right back. Stay, stay tuned.